I wanted to make a more dramatic Christmas look and I was originally going to do a smoky green eyeshadow but then it just kind of turned into this. It's still smoky, still green. Um, it's obviously a little bit more dramatic. Of course you can turn it into your own. Don't let it scare you. It's just makeup. Washes off. It's fun. It's pretty. I like it. I'm really liking it. I hope you like the tutorial and let's get to it. I'm going to start with my eyes because I'm probably going to make a big mess and it's an easier cleanup to do my eyes first versus having to take off my foundation. I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and this one isn't quite natural and it could be pretty deep if you want it to be. So like on my lid, I'm going to pat it on and then just lightly bring it up towards my brow. But again, not too heavy because it can get really dark and I don't want to make my whole lid all the way up to my brow dark. I'm going to be working with the Smashbox Cover Shot Smoky Eye Palette. Look at that. This is what the palette looks like. It's smoky, you get some mattes in there and then shimmers as well. Taking an all over shadow brush and this matte cream shade, just gonna dust this over the lid and uh, make sure that all the stickiness from the primer is gone. I don't want my eyeshadow to be sticking to the primer. I'm gonna take this green shade right here. I think it's called STFU. Oh, okay. My medium oval shadow brush by Ray Morris. I'm gonna pick that up. With my eye open, I'm just going to place the shadow on the lid, start winging it out. Leaving your eye open lets you know like where the shadow's going. And especially if you have a hooded lid, it'll help you out a lot. Cause you know when you open your eyes and the, the shadow looks completely different, we don't want that to happen. So just doing like an outer V, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just placing first and then I'm going to be blending. I'm gonna take a blending brush. This is a Smith 247 brush. It has nothing on it. I'm just going to go back and forth, windshield wiper and start blending and softening it. I'm letting it just be this hot mess right now because I'm going to clean it up in a minute. I went too low. So again, don't worry. Like this is the benefit of doing your eyes first. You can seriously just do a hot mess and then clean it up. I know you're thinking, what the actual F word? I didn't expect these eyeshadows to be so pigmented, but they are. I like this look. <laughs> I'm taking a makeup remover wipe. I'm gonna fix it up now. Right on the edge of my eye. Taking a little bit of the makeup remover wipe and coming right on the tip just to clean and sharpen it. Like that. And it's okay if you take off like up here, in all honesty. I'll probably put something else there. I'm not sure. So I have some serious winged liner going on. When I go like this, it looks funny, but when I relax. So I was originally gonna do another color on my lid, but I'm kind of liking the idea of a more editorial eye where it's just, just this, I don't know. I'm gonna take some more of the green with my blending brush I'd used and just pack it onto the lid. I'm gonna take my Smith uh, 220 brush. I was really hesitant about using this brush for eyeshadow because of the shape, I was confused, but this has easily become one of my new favorite brushes. Um, I like it that it's flat because you can really build and shape. So I'm taking like this dark gray color right on the edge of my eye. Kind of pop it into the crease. Mainly focusing on the outer V to add a little bit of dimension to the eye. So in all honesty, to keep it 100% real with you, you probably don't need to use that quite natural like all the way up to your eyebrow if you have it. I mean, you could even do a clear eyeshadow base uh, because I ended up just wiping it off anyways. I was intentionally gonna do something completely different, but then this started happening and so we're just going in a different direction. <laughs> I'm gonna take the eyeshadow by Urban Decay, it's called Zodiac. 
And just with my finger, I'm gonna place it on to my lid. It adds a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the Dewy Smooth, and this is the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I'm also using my Cover FX 170 brush. I don't even know if they make this brush anymore, but it used to be my jam. And I thought I lost it. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation not long ago. I think I've only used it like once or twice. I don't know exactly if I love it or not. I've heard nothing but good things about it though. It just sometimes makes my skin look really dry. I look like an evil villain. Grinch inspired. Look at this from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's a Christmas tree um, beauty blender type of deal. So I got the, the Christmas tree pretty damp. I'm gonna just blend her out. I kinda like it because it has this fine like tree point to it. That works. I'm just blending out any brush strokes that I left behind. I'm taking my Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Warm L7. I'm placing it under my eyes pretty heavily. Blending it out with my Christmas tree. I'm also gonna come right down the center of my nose and then a little few on the middle of my forehead, around my nose, my mouth, and then my chin. Blend that out. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I've had this for a while. I just don't like to use it too often because um, for one, it's expensive. And two, I think that's about it. It's just expensive, so I save it for like special occasions. I'm feeling like this is a special occasion. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Wavy brush. It's the 152 brush. Just going to come into my contour a little bit. I don't want my contour to be too powerful and overwhelming because I feel like the eye is really the focus and this gives just enough warmth i'm also taking it right down the sides of my neck bitsy is that what's called bit bitsy lip and cheek cream look it looks like a little macaroon in the shade Cotton Candy and an angled blush brush. I'm building like on my cheekbone and coming to the apple of my cheek. Where's my tree at? There it is. I take my Christmas tree and just blend right here over the cream blush. Soften it. Those you can get at Sally's and they're so good. They'd have like a matte finish to them too. Yes. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier at Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm gonna take a regular old sponge and just set my under eye. I'm also setting down the center of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and my chin. Not really going over any of the creams. I don't wanna lose luminosity. You know, while my under eye is chilling, I'm gonna work on my eyebrows. I hate this part, I dread this part. I'm letting my eyebrows grow out, so they're just a <laughs> they're just a disaster. And I can't seem to get the shape right. They're just a mess. I'm taking the MAC Brow Sculpt Pencil in Taupe, and I'm focusing <laughs> where I see holes first. With the MAC Brow Duo in Brunette, I'm taking the darker shade and I'm underlining my eyebrow powder brush and just kind of lightly dusting off the under eye. I want some glowation to be happening. So Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, I'm gonna use the shade Incandescent Light and my Sigma High Cheekbone Brush. 
put this right on top of my cheekbones. Also above the arch of the brow. Down the center of the nose, on the tip of my nose, above my lip, my chin. What should we do under the eye? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Going back to my Smashbox palette, I'm gonna take my favorite new Smith Cosmetics brush with the green. I'm gonna come right on my inner lower lash line. Stop about halfway over. Make it look like I have a straighter eye. So it's coming straight across. I never do green eyeshadow, but I have to say that everybody always asks for a green smoky eye. The reason I don't do greens is because I think I have a, a sensitivity to it. Like my eyes always get really irritated and red when I wear green and purple. So that's why I rarely do colors. But I'm taking one for the team. I'm just gonna suck it up. Like right now my eyes are pretty itchy. I, w I used to be able to wear green and then one day, I don't, I don't understand what happened. I got an eyelash in my hair. Just gonna remove that. Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil in Pacifica. Pacifica? It's like a greenish color. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my waterline just to get rid of the red that's showing because my eyes are on fire. I'm gonna put on a coat of mascara, so that will be this one. The MAC Upward Lash, Upward Black. I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes so I'm not too concerned about my lashes being perfecto. I'm just trying to hurry up. I'm also gonna do my bottom lashes as well with the mascara. I love it when my bottom lashes get super chunky like that. It's my favorite. I let my hair pick out the eyelash that I'm gonna use today. I'm just gonna plop these right on. I'll put the name to the lashes in the description box below. I just gotta find the box. I know that they're red cherry, I just can't remember the number. But that'll be below, okay? the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down, lining my lips. I'm then taking the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Bones, and then applying that right over the lip liner. This lip reminds me of like Pam Anderson. I'm not mad. And then I'm not really a big gloss person, but I feel like this look needs a gloss. So I'm going to add the Smashbox Lip Gloss in Bare Light. Oh, this is very Pam Anderson right now. I'm not one to like sit and do the eight minute posing, you know, but I feel like this look deserves a pose. And there you go. This is a look that you could do for, I don't know, whenever you want. You could be an evil villain at the Christmas party. It's just makeup. Don't let it scare you. Have some fun. It washes off. Just remember that. Washes off. If this isn't something that you like, you could always tone it down by not even winging it out. Just doing it on the lid only. There you go, like a really pretty, easy, green, smoky eye. I'm really, this was my first time using this palette by Smashbox, and I'm really impressed with how pigmented that green was. In my experience, a lot of the greens I've played with, you kind of have to build with, you build and build, you know? I'm quite impressed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day today, and you make really good choices. I will see you guys later. Bye!